Soursop is a fruit found commonly in Africa, Southeast Asia and America. And especially in African countries like Nigeria, it is widely claimed that it can cure cancer. And so is this true? Let's find out. Soursop has other names such as Guanabana, Brazilian Popo and Graviola. It is dark green with a prickly skin and shaped like a heart and comes from the tree called Anona muricata. Scientists have studied soursop extracts from the bark, leaves, roots and seeds of soursop and they have identified plant compounds called anonantious antogenins. These are phytochemicals that have been found to have antioxidants, anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. Acetogenins are potent inhibitors of NADH oxidase which are found in the plasma membranes of cancer cells. A 2018 review showed that soursop extract had a cytotoxic effect on breast cancer cells and other studies have shown that it is also cytotoxic against other types of cancers such as liver, lung, pancreatic, prostate and skin cancers. Studies have also found that soursop has chemopreventive properties. So this is saying that if you eat soursop regularly, you can prevent cancer from happening. Soursop is also commonly used to treat other conditions such as rheumatism, arthritis, malaria, cystitis, infections and other kinds of diseases and it is also said to lower blood sugar and blood pressure. There are concerns that soursop has toxic effects on the body as it contains other chemicals that might cause nerve damage causing symptoms similar to movement disorders such as Parkinson's disease. This is because the acetogenins can cause the blood-brain barrier to affect the brain. Soursop can also damage your liver and kidneys if consumed in large amounts and it is not known how it interacts with other prescribed medication. The seeds in soursop are thought to be the most toxic part of the fruit so if you are eating soursop as a fruit, take the seeds out and eat the fleshy part of the pulp which is rich in proteins, vitamins and minerals. Soursop is now commonly taken in the United States of America not commonly as a fruit but in the form of capsules, powder and used in fruit juices beverages, tea, smoothies and even ice cream. Now do note that these studies are based on laboratory research on animals and in test tubes and not studies done on humans so you're not going to get Big Pharma back in the use of sour soap for cancer. Instead you might see social media posts and various websites promoting sour soap as a cure for cancer. So here is my disclaimer, I am not here promoting that sour soap cures cancer, I am simply looking at the evidence and presenting a case based on research studies. So do your own research and do not stop any medication that you are taking without the advice of your doctor. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to share, like and subscribe.